Hey everybody, welcome back to the Traveling to Sea channel where we love to travel, love to share. Traveling is great on land, sea, and air. Come with us as we go and see together how much better our traveling can be. Hey, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, coast to coast top attractions for 2024. This video is going to focus on the western part of the coast, Hancock County. Mississippi. The Mississippi Gulf Coast extends from the Louisiana state line and goes across to the Alabama state line. Cities like Waveland, Bay of St. Louis, Pass Christian, Long Beach, Gulfport, Biloxi, Ocean Springs, Pascagoula, and, and some others. We've got Moss Point, and Yiberville, and Diamond Head. Let's take a look. We're going to focus on Hancock County, which there are three counties. Hancock County, Harrison County, and Jackson County. And there are islands. We've got Cat Island. Ship Island, Horn Island, Petty Boy Island, and Deer Island. And there will be future videos for those. These are our top attractions across the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We're focusing on the attractions from the west to the east for this video. The fun things to see and do. Future videos will cover other items of interest like entertainment and ethnic foods and other items of interest across the Gulf Coast. But these are not the TripAdvisor Top 5 or Yelp. We get no compensation for promoting these. Hope they're useful to you. So now, let's focus on Hancock County in the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The Mississippi Gulf Coast, also known as Coastal Mississippi, stay and play the coastal way. Surround yourself with the warmth of southern hospitality along the Mississippi Gulf Coast with 62 miles of scenic shoreline. Start your visit by exploring our unique coastal communities with over 300 years of history, exciting family-friendly attractions, unique lodging, authentic gift-to-table cuisine. Coastal Mississippi is the ideal destination to stay and play. Hancock County, the southernmost county of the U.S. state of Mississippi, is named for the founding father John Hancock. As of the 2020 census, the population was 46,053. The county seat is Bay of St. Louis. It's the westernmost county along the Mississippi Gulf Coast adjacent to the Louisiana state line. The first attraction we come to going from west to east in Hancock County is the Infinity Science Center. The Infinity Science Center is a nonprofit science museum that encompasses a mix of exhibit space and hands on experiential programming where guests can explore earth and space through exhibits, memorable experiences, and citizen science programs. Infinity also serves as the official visitor center for NASA's Stennis Space Center, Mississippi's largest rocket engine testing facility. We've got a separate video on the Infinity Science Center that you may want to check out. It's a wonderful place, a lot of hands-on things for the kids. And here you can see their website, see all the things to see and do at the Infinity Science Center. Actually have NASA rocket engines right there and a lot of things to see, so check that out. Next. It's Buccaneers State Park. Buccaneers State Park is located right on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, right on the water in Waveland, Mississippi. 
you can see it on TripAdvisor, you can check it out. But better information is here at their website. Located on the beach in Waveland, Buccaneer is in a natural setting of a large moss-draped oaks, marshlands, and the Gulf of Mexico. Check out their website. You can see all about it. They've got a water park there, nature trails, playground, disc golf, activity, pavilion, and RV park as well. Check it out. The next attraction is Waveland's Ground Zero Hurricane Museum on Coleman Avenue in Waveland, not far off the beat. The museum is housed in a historic building in Waveland had been used as a school and a civic center. It's the only building left standing of their main street after Hurricane Katrina and had been restored to its original structure. And they've got exhibitions and things in there. You can see here on TripAdvisor, you can read about it and see the reviews for it. But also, here on their website, you can see about it, and you can see a tribute to resilience. The museum's not a memorial to a disaster, but a tribute to the strength and beauty of the human spirit. So you want to learn about Hurricane Katrina, you can learn a lot about it here in Waveland's Ground Zero Hurricane Museum. The next attraction is in the community of Diamond Head, Mississippi, a city located in southeastern Hancock County, north of Interstate 10, just 50 miles northeast of New Orleans. In February 2012, Diamond Head was officially incorporated as a city and the population's right around 10,000. They've got a Diamond Head North Recreational Pool and part of that community and they have got a lot of things to see and do. So check out their website for the Diamond Head Pool. So the next attraction we have is the Bay of St. Louis Beach. Bay of St. Louis is a city right on the Mississippi Gulf Coast and it's considered a place apart. This quaint seaside town has been named one of the coolest small towns in America by budget travel. It was also recognized as a top 10 small beach town by Coastal Living Magazine. From friendly folks to historic buildings, this unique city embraces the heritage of the coastal Mississippi region. And it is a fun town, and there is a lot to see and do in Bay of St. Louis, and they have got lovely beaches there. You can check it out on TripAdvisor or golfcoast.org to learn all about it. The next attraction is the Alice Mosley Folk Art Museum there in Bay of St. Louis. Alice Mosley loved the historic train depot, having just lived across the street in her famous little blue house. She was revered by her elementary students with a decades-long teaching career, but her legacy didn't end there. Upon retirement, she began painting at age 65. Her intended hobby turned her second 30-year career. Once again, she would touch many lives and come to be titled an idyllic folk artist in 1990. So you can read about that at TripAdvisor. And also, they have a website and you can read all about the Folk Art Museum there in Bay of St. Louis. A wonderful, wonderful stop. Check that out. 
Well, that's all the attractions in Hancock County. See the next video for attractions in Harrison County. Then there are three counties, Hancock, Harrison, and Jackson County. And the next video covers Harrison County. So pretty exciting, isn't it? And if you're visiting the Gulf Coast, check out gulfcoast.org for visitor information. Also tell you about all the events that are coming up, other things to do, places to stay, restaurants, casinos, etc. So you always a good website to go and check. And if you're visiting from out of town, you can also get a visitor's guide and other very useful information. So check out golfcoast.org for more information and plan your trip to the Mississippi Gulf Coast. So this has been our video of the Mississippi Gulf Coast Top Attractions for 2024 in Hancock County, the western part of the coast, in Hancock County, Mississippi. Comment below. Share your experiences. Have you been to any of these attractions? Is there something else you'd like to see? Like and subscribe. You can see these in upcoming videos and other attractions we have on the Gulf Coast. Keep traveling. Keep watching. Enjoy life. God bless.